Hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is Modi Aberantis, and today we're taking a quick look at the True Slime King. Uh, this game came to me from a developer who had a question on Reddit uh, about embargoes, and I was able to respond to him, hopefully with some good advice, and uh, then he was like, hey, from a game anyway. So I decided I would give it a try here. This game is coming out on the 9th, it sounds like. Don't I actually don't know for sure if it's on Steam right now, but it is downloadable on itch.io for sure in early access. Uh, and it should be there by the 9th if it's not there already. So check the link down below in the description if you're interested in playing it. This game is basically, uh, it's like Super Beat Boy, honestly. It's, it's, it's got a lot of influence there, I can tell from that, but, um, it's longer levels than Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy levels are very, very small, like, contained little bits. This is, like, longer, bigger levels. Also has a level editor right from the get-go, which is kind of cool. So you can make your own levels and share them and that kind of thing. Um, but I will try it out here for an episode and see what we think of it. And, uh, you guys can check it out if you want to. Let's get into his brand new story mode for, uh, the true Slime King. So I set it up to A and D. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But, uh, so one thing as a slime, you can see that the only, the, one of the advantages of being a slime versus a meat boy, though, is that you can actually cling, cling to the ceilings here. They tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. They tried to stop you, but you couldn't quit now that you were so close. What's that music? That's good. That's good stuff. They tried to take you out. Instead, you took them, one of them out, but at a grave cost. I want to hear more. Tell me more. I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to be so careful here. At the brink of death, you managed to find it. The eternal fountain. And now we're filled with the power of slime. Oh, we are actually. <laughs> there was no escape from this place before. But now death is no longer an obstacle. Now immortal, you can make your way home. But things are different. False kings have taken over the kingdoms, crafting labyrinths to keep you out. But nothing can stop you now that you are mortal. It's only a matter of time. And skill, potentially. <laughs> a matter of skill and time. So, echoing entrance. Oh, spikes. Don't hit the spikes. So, there's five levels, it looks like, here. Let's just get number one here. So, we got to go for this guy here. Okay. That's easy enough. Okay, so the level I tried in the tutorial here was a little uh, bigger, I guess. This is... This is uh, what you'd expect from do I get what am I, oh okay I'm on the next one here okay no I'm not the same one here I'll complete uh W return overworld okay cool short little bite-sized levels here as you can see it's gonna start out easy and get harder probably some twitchy reflexes necessary now there is a cool demo on itch.io I think it might be there it's definitely on their website um for the game here but oh that that's kind of distracting me I gotta change the color on that guy they're kind of distracting me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know about that. Might have to might have to go back to the main menu here and change the color of that guy. Yeah, this is a little much. Oop, gotta hang on the ceiling here. There we go. I like that it's got the exogenic uh is it exogenic music? Where it's it's changing like it's inside the game. Like He's hearing this music for whatever reason, basically, because it's changing tone depending on if we're inside or outside. So that means it's actually part of part of his world somehow. I mean, if it looped like this and it was an actual real life thing, I might lose my mind. Not to say the music's bad or anything like that. It is. It is pretty good. Oh, there's a secret in there. Look at that. I missed that. It's an extra extra challenge. Should we try to get that? See what it's all about. Totally. God, I blew it. Oh, we have to get the thing again. Oh God, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna biff it like 400, 400 times, trying to get this thing again. I did it so good the first time, and now I'm gonna get it just dip, exactly. This is this is a, this is a meat boy problem for me for sure too. As I get I get what I want to get the first time through. Ah, oh, that was so bad. Come on, we gotta we gotta get that though. All right, now we get it. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Beautiful. All right, not doing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I don't want to go back now. 
Oh, okay. Looks like this opens that up. And then we're going to get this opened up. I, one thing I want to do, though, is uh, change the color of the death sky to be a little bit more invisible. Yeah. I don't want to have to look at him. He, he was distracting for what I saw. Maybe a way to change the color. I don't know if it's too close to the green for me or what, but... Uh, oh, new... Uh, New music now. We've entered a new area. It's kind of cool. Diegetic sound? That's what I'm trying to think of, right? Diegetic sound. There's exogenic sound, which is external from the movie or game. And there's diegetic sound, which is inside of the game. It's, that's what we're hearing right now, diegetic. Little fun fact about audio in movies for you. Oh, we couldn't have got that, but we didn't get down there enough. I like when games do that, though. I mean, diegetic anything, really. I mean, come on. Boom! Precision! Oh, cool. I can just exit. That's nice. That's eight. Where's nine? There we go. Um, interesting. What the? Can I can hop that? Oh, hello there. Thank you for the boosts, man. Like that. Now, the slime over here is slowly decaying. I don't know if that's an effect, effect or not. Um, all right. We're in a bit of a bigger area now. This is a much bigger area than before. Yeah, so in the demo I played, there was a gigantic area. And it was it was pretty much designed for demo purposes, obviously. It wasn't just play, taking a level of the game. It was, it was designed to demonstrate some of the fun stuff it can do, like the level designer and that kind of thing. It's a pretty good demo, I would say. Gives you a good taste of it. Gives you a good feel of controls. The only thing you can't do is it sets up the uh, controls as uh, left and right arrow initially, which that's why I changed the WD. I did the same level, didn't I? I just did it. All right, let's like, exit back out of here. It sets the initially the controls are set up for the directional arrows, and I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what it is, but I can't play this game at all, honestly, when I have to use my right hand. I'm used to WASD. Not too too dependent on it, maybe, but... Well, I have to get to the level. Oh, I'm not going to get that very easily. I'm not going to bother. We're just going to go for levels here. And get, get through. Let's get through the first portion of the game here. Let's get to like, uh, we're in level 11, 11 to 15 here now. Uh, we're getting some seriousness going on now. Ah, see, I'm not going to try to get that stuff. I think it might, uh, you can jump up there. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to free this dude because he can give us a little platform. So we have to get that key over there first. Yeah, and he's loose now. Right now, I need to get that key in there now. Can't get that like that. Okay. Okay. He's just going to hang out here. Can you go over here? All right. You're not going to do it. I was lucky. That was very lucky. Wait, wait, we didn't die. Never mind. We're okay. We're okay. Coming out, man. <laughs> I apologize. I, that was my that was my fault. I mean, I don't know who else, who other fault it would be right now. Come on, get up there. There we go. And careful, careful, careful. And careful, careful, careful. Can I bring you over there somehow? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Where's my exit then? Where's my exit, little slime? Where's my exit? Where's my exit? Oh, seriously. Oh, it's over here. It's hard to tell where the exit is sometimes. When it's when it's disappeared like that. Uh, it's gotta be quicker, I guess. Alright. So, oh, that was bad. Okay. Gotta go a long way around here first. I like the ceiling climbing thing here. It's, it's good. It's good. It's really good. Ah, it's good. It's, it's a nice little change. 
subtle enough from Meat Boy to make it a different, you know, slightly different experience. But the mechanics feel like very much the same. If you're good at Super Meat Boy, you'll be pretty good at this. I mean, as you can see from my quality skills here, I've, you know, made it to level five Super Meat Boy. Is that what is level, there's how many levels are there? I don't even know. I've played it so long. I, I played some. Let's just say that. I played some of that. And the skills are 100% transferable. I mean, obviously. Let me look at all those, power, those pro moves I was just doing a second ago. And that one. I mean. <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on! I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I have stuff. I don't wanna. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna grab it. I'm a sucker for pickups. I just love picking things up. Ah, come on. Get with the program. Oh, man. This is, this is, this is, uh, getting worse. Okay, I did that one at least a hundred times now. Oh, come on, really? I'm glad that the slime disappears from the spikes each time because, uh, it would just be coated in slime at this point. I mean, maybe that's the easy mode. Like, the more you jump on spikes, the more coated they get, and then they no longer damage you. <laughs> get that in the game here. Go! There we go. I'm not going to go after the big one there. I have to go all the way around again to do that, so we're not going to do that. All right, we're at 11 to 14 now. We need one more to get through the next part here, and I don't see where to go. Let's assume it's up. Oh, there it is. Well, I can't go that way. Gotta go over the top, it looks like. Alright, 15. Well, that's a death? Okay. Don't jump off camera. Don't leave the spotlight. Masterful. Not too bad. Alright, let's do one more level or two here. I don't want to, like, show up anybody that wants to play the game here. Like, you know, they're gonna, like, see me play it, and they'll be like, Oh, I don't want to play that. He's too good. Why should I even bother? I mean, that happens a lot, I think. All right. Oh, those are deathly. Okay. All right. I like the pop. Ah, that was cool. It's a cool little sound effect. It's like a light bulb breaking. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds exactly like a light bulb, light bulb breaking. Do I have to go for blue first? Make make more sense. Safest one to get. All right, then we get orange going that way. Red going this way. Let's get red first. Pop those light bulbs. Uh, the red exit's right there. I don't know what the orange does for us though. Like an alternate path maybe? This is the exit right here. You get zero bonus points. So best goose score. So like the timing of it is what, what what's the, uh, the, the, the timer there basically. It gives more points if we get it faster. Are you really at level 19 already? God, there's like, I think there's like 50 levels in the game, something like that, 56 levels, something like that. Are oh, you gonna sit right there, huh? All right, you can do that. I'm gonna figure out why, you, why you're sitting there in a second. Just like causing my life to be inconvenient, I guess. Oh my God. No, are you kidding me? Oh man, oh, come on! You see, this is the I do the <laughs> I just do the entire level, almost all the way, and then the first jump perplexes me for the next ten minutes. Do it like that. Don't do me like that. Again, like the first jump. I don't know what it is. I had the exact same problem, Meat Boy, though, too. Like, like you get into like a rhythm, you get the entire thing, and you die like six times in a row to the very first jump. And don't, don't, okay, don't, yeah, don't do this. I gotta go around again. Did I miss the exit? No, it's in the middle here, isn't it? There we go. Oh, I can't do it though. Wait, can you help me? 
There you are. Thank you. No, a little higher. There we go. A little higher. A little higher. There we go. There we go. Zero goo score, but still, it's it's through. Through the goo. And let's see. Six, 19. Uh, we're at 16 through 20. I don't think we've done all that. I wonder if there's secrets here, though. Let's explore around here. Yeah, there we go. Get out. You're no king. Leave us alone. Stay away. We will destroy you. You're no king. This is interesting. So this is like a world, like different worlds, maybe? Interesting. Most wanted. You're a monster. You're a monster. I wonder what this is. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think we have to go back to where we came. I don't think I can use any of these. Yeah, I couldn't. I can't press up on any of those. All right, so let's go back and look for 16 then, and we'll wrap up this episode in just a minute then. There's 15. Get that one already. Let's just jump. There we go, 17. What we haven't done yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that because it does kill me if you go off camera there like that. Ah! <laughs> All right, so like if you want to make a cruel level, all you got to do is put like a tough jump at the very end. Like it's like I was like feeling good about the game. Like, oh man, I'm finally getting it. Like I'm having no problem here now. Hey, here's some goose score. 127. Here's 20. All right, this will be our last one, I think. Oh God. Okay, if I figure that one out ever. Okay, yeah, that was a leap of faith. That's good. Maybe. Oh God. <laughs> oh, come on. I, uh, how did I do that before? I mean, how did I do, how, how did I do that before? I don't know. How I, I don't know how I did this before. <laughs> Oh, I, I should have gone down here. I, whatever I did before was not the way to do it. I guess I can watch my path and see what I did before. I guess that's the point of it, right? Hey, 245, goose score. All right, is that all of the levels here? Let's see. Where would the number one, number, the next one be here? What haven't we done? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's something. Is there a boss fight? I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, you know what it is? I think when we finish all the levels, that'll be a bridge maybe going across. Now that's the way I see it working. Let's get up here. There's like this. Can we get up there like that? I don't think we're gonna be like up there like that. 17 we did. 16 we didn't do. Oh yeah, get, get in there. All right, 16. If there's a boss fight, we should do it at least. Uh, so what do we need to do here? Gotta go in a certain order here. Oh, this is interesting because the whole level changes then based on like what you grab first here. Grab blue first. You can see grab orange then. Then grab green then. Then you grab red now. This is cool. I like that. It's a really neat level. All right, zero goose score. That's okay though. I think we got everything. How would we know? 18's good. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We got them all. All right, so let's go back to that gap we saw before. There's down ish over here ish. No, it's not. Hmm. Let's 
Let's go around the top, maybe. There we go. Not meant to go that way. Something here. Oh. Oh, I see. This is a little different. Oh, new traps, though. How many do I need to get? To, how many do I need to get is the question. Oh. All right. Oh, come on. All right. This is going to be tough. No, nope, not that way. I have to go down here first, then go back up. Otherwise, not be able to get in there. Need to get down here like this. I don't know how I'm going to get back out again. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Maybe that's where I need to end? No, I need to end over here. Over in this region over here. Um. All right, we can do this. We can do this. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I missed that one. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. Close one. Uh, how do I get in there and back out again? It's moving too fast. I can't get in there all the way. I'm going to I'm gonna settle for going to the exit. If I get anything, get to the exit. I'm going to just try to get to the exit and see what happens. <laughs> come on. All right, that at least got that done. And okay, so we get that many. We open that up. And we, over here, we gotta do the same thing. Oh God. One of these might be easier than the other. Nope. I like how open-ended this area is though. Like, I feel like there's a variety of ways I could do this, and there's not, there's only one that's gonna probably get all of them. <laughs> I tried. I tried and tried and tried. <laughs> my poor slime body. Oh, my poor slime body. No! It's so close. No, <laughs> come on. Come on. Uh, forget it. Forget it. I'm not. I'm out. I'm out. I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. All right. So that's going to be, uh, I think I have to do with this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is an interesting game. Uh, I don't know what the price is going to be or anything like that just yet. It is uh, on HIO right now, as I said. Uh, check it out for yourselves. Comes out March 9th someplace. Steam or... Uh, or maybe it's available on now on itch. I'm not even sure. But go check it out for yourself if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.